So as the weather's turned a little more damp, my allotment comrades have decided to scatter the slug pellets to protect the crops. Fair enough, but I wonder if there's a better way, a, w a better way for the pockets and for wildlife. Instead of broadcasting slug pellets among the crops, why not try and look for where they may be hiding? That's where, on this particular plot, and that's where we need to address the problem. Slugs and snails need somewhere to hide during the day, and it's under cover, under rubbish, that they will stick it out, just like this plot as well. On this plot, you can see the dead snails out in the open where the wildlife can eat them, but ironically, the crop damage is being done by pigeons. So what better way is there? Well, in this particular example, um, slug pellets have been placed inside an old ice cream container and a, a slot has been cut in the front that the snails can, or slugs can get access into. When it rains, the slug pellets are kept dry, but the attractant within the slug pellets will mean that they will seek to go in there for cover and food, find the slug pellets and die inside. Most importantly, wildlife cannot get access to their dead bodies. It's a win-win for every scenario if you like chemicals. Another solution would be to use um, a paving slab, lift it up onto a few stones so that there's a gap underneath the slab itself. Just a small gap, just enough top room for um, a snail or a slug to get under, and they will actively seek out these areas. If that's placed in the open, um, you know, where these slugs are going to head towards your crop, absolutely perfect because you again they'll go in there, get the slug pellets, your slug pellets will be dry, and they'll die in, in an area like this before they even get to your crops. Everybody's a winner. Now in my plots, I'm entirely organic, so I don't have any chemicals, including the organically approved slug pellets. I believe it's a better way, and that way is prevention rather than cure. So what I do is I tend to keep my plots very clean, if I can. It means less work anyway, and there's nowhere for slugs and snails to hide. But what I will do is I'll apply a couple of planks where they can hide, and then I'll regularly check under them pick them up and take care of them. Under this pile I found five in total. Another top tip is to weigh down plastic where you're planting through membrane. Tuck it hard in the edges and stop the slugs and snails using that very membrane as a hidey hole. Now at home, in the autumn winter garden, I tend to use hedgehogs as my main guys for slug patrol. Uh, the way I do it is I use a hedgehog feeding station, which is just an upturned plastic container. You put cat, dried cat food in, in there, a brick to stop cats getting access in, because you don't want to lose that food. And then you burn a hole in the front that's roughly CD sized. The he hedgehogs can get in and around the, the brick easy enough, but cats tend to struggle a little bit and there's not that much lure in there. And don't forget to put up a tray of water. Of course, attracting the hedgehogs to your garden means that they will often then go on to look for slugs or snails within that garden. A good method that you can use, if you so wish, is, is by using beer in traps. Uh, I'm not so keen on this method because it, it works as an attractant. They love slugs in particular, love the smell. So they come in and I find that they, they stop off on your plants. So they have a good meal and then go towards the slug traps, which isn't always successful. Um, but, you know, it is a good cheap method. A pond is a great idea to attract wildlife in. The, the particular wildlife we have, of course, it is toads and frogs. It works very well, of course, and it's really good. But as a slug control method, I'm not that fond of um, 
of, of toads and frogs because they they migrate away from the pond away from breeding time um, that may not be your pond that they decide to stay in but uh, there we are it's a it's a great wildlife area anyway uh, the best solution that I think you an organic person will find is to get a torch out and look for them after dark put them in a bucket and dispose them as necessary but of course you tend to feel a bit stupid doing it and it depends on your local area it's up to you whether you do it or not um, but it is very highly effective easy to do my last suggestion of control works fairly well uh, and that is by use of applying nematodes you buy them online they get sent to you and you apply in a, in a solution of water through your watering can but it's a quite a slow acting solution and it's it needs to be thought of in advance of, of the, when it's needed here I have a problem with keel slugs it would have been a good solution in this particular case but I didn't <laughs> next year I'll do it next year uh, another good area that that these work really well is in the tunnel where your salad crops may be or any salad crops because they will get the small keel slugs that you, you are really hard to get hold of thanks for listening and see you again next time